back to another vlog. I am currently in my washroom because I'm about to curl my hair, but welcome to a vlog where I bring you guys along with me to show you guys what I do as a TV host at a Chinese television company. I'm just waiting for my curling iron to heat up, but just when I briefly practiced my script, I usually practice on my iPad, like when they send me the script for uh, voiceovers as well as tags, um, I would usually like airdrop it onto my um, iPad and then I would put it in good notes and then I can start editing like this. I would put a lot of like words on it and then highlight the stuff that I don't know or things that I have to like speak up more. Just then I did some practice took around an hour to really read through everything and making sure that all of the words that I'm reading off is correct with the pronunciation and how to read it and the tone and everything because I feel like Cantonese is actually quite hard in my opinion even though like my first language is actually Cantonese like I was born in a Cantonese family but then as I learned started to learn Mandarin and then came to Canada I realized that Cantonese wasn't really like my best best language anymore and i realized that i really need some practice on that so with that being said this is the perfect opportunity so sometimes for filming i would have to curl my hair or just like just do an updo or you know just put it down or if i'm lazy i literally wouldn't do anything like i would literally just go like this but then i realized that i've done this twice and on camera, it doesn't look as nice as it is in person. Like I personally just like my hair as it is right now, but then definitely on camera, it's always covering my eyes. Like my hair, this area is super flat. So this is why today I've decided to curl my hair and maybe tie it into a really high ponytail. I think because I'm thinking of just tying it up, I might just curl my bangs. It definitely looks nicer when your whole entire face is shown to the camera when you're talking in front of the camera because I guess in a way it's more like professional as well. Does anybody else do this? I feel like this is like the best, easiest, fastest way for me to tie my hair into a high ponytail. There we go. I know it looks really, really tall, but then I realized that when you're on camera, this is honestly the best hair for you to make your face smaller, to look prettier. I feel like even in person, it looks pretty nice. No? I like it. Okay, now that we finished our hair, since we're getting ready, other than hair and makeup that I'll be doing at Fairchild TV and also outfit, the next most important thing to finish the entire look is jewelry. This video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. They offer long lasting tarnish resistant jewelry essentials you can feel good about wearing. All of their jewelry pieces are 100% strength and humidity tested. The brand is carbon neutral and climate neutral certified from packaging to the products because they care a lot about the impact on the planet. Their designs are unique and will make you feel empowered, elegant, and at your finest. There are so many different styles and designs of jewelry and most definitely you can find something that will catch your eye. Every piece is super easy to wear and can easily be assembled. They craft high quality jewelry pieces at very affordable prices. They have so many different and unique styles from earrings to necklaces and bracelets and many more. You can even select the type of material of the jewelry that you want. They offer free and fast U.S. shippings and returns and affordable worldwide shipping as well. All of their products are backed by a two-year warranty so you can feel safe with purchasing and wearing their jewelry. And they extensively test products against tarnishing, allergies, damages, and breakage. But if you're not totally satisfied with it, they'll send you a replacement or a reimbursement with no questions asked. 
With that being said, make sure to check it out by clicking on the link in the description box and use my code AthenaChen20 to get a 20% off your purchase. Now let's get back to the video. I still have around about one and a half hours for me to do everything and well, I feel like I definitely have enough time. I think I'm gonna practice my script maybe two or three more times, but yeah, right here, let's go. 七月十四号是法国的国庆日，冲陷战争欢见统治的巴士底监狱，揭开法国大革命幕序幕。Hard. I'm gonna check my little baby. What is she doing? What are you doing? I just changed into my fit with my hair. I'm just wearing a um, off shoulder. I'm gonna fix this. I'm just wearing an off shoulder white top and then jeans. And then for shoes, I can wear anything I want because we're not gonna be filming my shoes anyways. Let me show you guys the top three things that I have to have to bring every single time when I go in for shooting. Always have to bring my iPad for scripts. And then I always have to bring a water bottle in case I get thirsty and if my throat is really dry during talking. And most importantly, no. you think it's a ring? It is not a ring. But ta-da! Falsies. So usually even the makeup artist will tell me to keep the lashes and we'll reuse it just a few times uh, before we throw it out. just arrived at the company. It's right behind me. I'm just gonna park my car and head right in. Apparently doing makeup. Look at all these makeup. Ooh. I'm still waiting for my makeup artist because she went in there. I just got my eyeliner and my eyeshadow on. record everything for the video. Let's get started. Let 每年的法国国庆日居住在多伦多的法瑞移民都会举办盛大的庆典他们早前就在市中心的洋酒厂区举办巴士底日庆祝活动给大家看到地道的法式风情七月十四号是法国的国Today was a really long day actually, so hopefully, well, here's Fairchild TV. Hopefully I can go home and quickly eat dinner because I'm starving actually. Right now it's probably like eight or even nine o'clock and it's way past my dinner time. <laughs> so definitely gonna go home and eat dinner. All right, I am back in my car and let's talk about some of my, I guess, thoughts about today. 
honestly, every single time when I do come in, the most the most difficult thing for me to do is pronunciation and the tone, especially because I speak a lot of Chinglish at home. So my Cantonese is, I would say, it's like for normal conversation, you can definitely feel like it's fine. But once it comes to like. Um, like TV host and anything like on TV where you have to speak really um, professional Cantonese. I am a little, I, I lack a little bit of like, I guess, like I'm just not good at it overall, not good at it at all. So I, I do practice a lot, but then sometimes like, especially with the, with the accent and everything, it's really hard to pronounce that one specific word. So today there was definitely a lot of words that I wasn't able to pronounce and just really glad and grateful for everyone um, at Fairchild TV, all the employees that are super, super patient with me. Overall, um, the tags were okay. The tags were pretty smooth, finished it within like 20 minutes. And honestly, I didn't even look the time because I actually started 30 minutes late. So right now it's currently, it's just eight. So I'm just gonna head home and eat dinner. So thank you so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!